So I played the new season yesterday, and you know what? Overall, I don't think it's bad. It wasn't as amazing the way Season of the Witch was out of the box, but it might grow on me, we'll see. I like that Riven's Lair is a short activity, and after watching Dado's video explaining the coil, I think that's an activity they did a really good job with, and I look forward to playing more of that in the future. But then, there's the story. But before I get into the negatives, I do want to give some positives. I loved how Crow was immediately a part of things in the first mission. Like I said in my predictions video, I really wanted him to get closer to fully accepting his past. And you know what? There's a chance we might get that this season, or at least close to it. And I really appreciated the Mara and Osiris conversation. Why? Because instead of going to a terminal, joining the character's Discord server, and listening in on their conversation, we actually got to have the people stand in front of us and talk. Is it still awkward that they don't really acknowledge our presence for most, if not all of it? Yeah, of course. But it's better than joining the Discord server. Why join their Discord server when you can join mine? <laughs> Link in the description. But guys, I think Bungie kind of broke the lore, at least when it comes to the Ahamkara. I'm gonna literally copy and paste this part from my prediction script, and let's see how many of you see where I'm going before I finish. I think it was Riven speaking in that trailer, but we killed Riven, right? Why would it be her? At the end of the Last Wish raid, you don't just kill Riven, you help purify her heart of taken corruption, and I quote, for the sake of plans to come. And yeah, because of how Ahamkara work, she is still alive and she does talk to you after her heart is purified. She says that we are inseparable now and that she cannot wait to show us what she asked for. That one didn't age quite so well. What happened to the heart, Bungie? Where did you put it? Oh, in the same place as the Taken Egg Mara had in Season of the Lost. I understand now. Riven is not truly dead. Yes, we killed her living body, but Ahamkara live on in their bones. This is why, during the Great Hunt, when Eris and Ikora killed Ahamkara, they made sure to destroy the bones afterwards. This is how Eris survived the Hellmouth. The thing inside of her rock is an Ahamkara bone, and she had it with her during the attempt to kill Crota. When the entire plan went to crap, and she was alone and lightless, she used the bone to become what she is now. I will literally read you the lore. I am lost in these lunar tunnels, out of ammo, short on light. I am out of moves, save one. I clutch an Ahamkara bone in one hand, and my dead ghost in the other. I hear a whisper. My vision is gone, my face itches from the viscous flow from my eyes, Though I can't see, I find that I suddenly know the way out. In my opinion, this was the point of Riven's heart. Us extracting it and helping the Tachyons purify it guaranteed that we could use Riven in the future. Instead, in this season, Riven's body has just been lying there for like, what, five years? And in order to do anything with her, we have to go and get her tooth? And she says that the magic of the Tachyons is what's keeping her alive? And that she's only going to be able to do one last wish? That's all she has in her? I literally just remembered this. Riven isn't the only Ahamkara bones in the Dreaming City. You can literally go to a skull from an, from an Ahamkara who's been dead for who knows how long, and you can interact with it. Now, I know what some of you are going to say, okay? So... The exact definitions of a wish aside, okay, I didn't need the Tekians to strain themselves just for the ability to interact with the thing, okay? Now is there some kind of super in-depth workaround for why Riven is being handled this way that I haven't noticed? There genuinely is a chance of that, okay? I'm not gonna s sit here and say that my knowledge of things is perfect and I am 100% right. No, there's- dude. I played this season yesterday, and I've just been thinking about it, okay? But when I was playing the story, I was scratching my head 
and asking about this on stream. And today I am I'm still thinking about it now. So yeah, there is a chance that Bungie broke the Ahamkara lore this season. So with that in mind, what do I think happened? Well, like I said in my predictions video, we knew what the end of this season was going to be before it even came out. We knew that we were going to go inside the Traveler and that we were going to use the Ahamkara to do it. The question was just how and what the reason would be for the filler. This whole Riven is only good for one last wish, her refusing to give it to us without demands, and by the way, I can think of and I saw several workarounds for that, and then the whole plot of going after all these uncorrupted eggs that we've never known about until now is exactly how Bungie went about doing it. Unfortunately, if my theory about them breaking the lore is true, then I honestly believe they just didn't remember the heart or how the bones work, and if that is true, to that I say, unlucky. Again, I could be wrong, but these are the immediate thoughts of mine when it comes to the season story. But what do you think? Do you think the way they handled Riven makes perfect sense? Do you think the continuity with the heart is still intact? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video, finding it entertaining or informative. And if I hit the wombo combo, maybe both? I'm having my Techians strain their magic to get to 2,000 subscribers. So if you want to help them out, I'm sure they'd appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to you real soon. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.